Hello and welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing and using ICC profiles in CorelDRAW 2018. Now before this video we're going to assume that you've already changed your printing preferences to set up the printer for sublimation printing. If you haven't already done that you can check out one of our other videos or the PDF instructions which came with your profile for how to do that. So once we've changed our printing preferences, we're ready to install the profile and get set up. Now the profile itself will have been delivered to you either by email or on a CD with your sublimation ink. So once you've received your ink or received the email, go ahead and find the correct profile and save that to your computer. Today we're using the Ricoh SG3110DN printer with City Ink Express paper and I've already saved the profile on my desktop there. To install the profile all we're going to do is right click and select install profile. Now you notice no loading screen comes up for that, it is pretty much instant. All that clicking install profile does is creates a copy of the profile in a specific folder on your computer so that CorelDRAW knows where to look for it. So once we've clicked install profile we can go ahead and open CorelDRAW. If you've already got it open, you may need to close and reopen the program so that the list of profiles updates. Okay. Now, first thing to do is to open any file. It could be one that you've already got on your computer or a new file. I'll start a new one here. It doesn't really matter what it is as we're just setting the printer up. Now you'll see if we go to file that we can't click on print at the moment because there's nothing on the page to print. So we will just add any shape to the page and then we can go file and print. Now the first thing that we want to do is select the correct printer. Today we'll be using our example Rico printer but yours will be named something different to that. Then under the color tab we want colour conversions performed by CorelDRAW so we want CorelDRAW to tell the printer what colours to print and correcting colours using colour profile and this is the printer profile that we've just installed so in this case it's the Rico with the City Ink paper yours may have a different name to that, it could have a very similar name but that's what we're using today now if you want your images to be mirrored by Coral Draw when you click print then under the pre-press tab you can select mirror so they'll then print out back to front so that when they're pressed onto your mugs or t-shirts or whatever they'll be the correct way round. There are other ways to do this but that's the way that I'm going to do it today you can choose how to do yours. Now we come back to the general tab and we haven't saved the settings at the moment so we'll click save as and we'll give them a name. In this case I'm going to call it Rico Sublimation. And now we want to make sure that all of these boxes are ticked so that it chooses all the correct settings. And once that's done we can click Save. So now when we come to print something, if we choose this print style, Rico Sublimation print style, it'll choose the correct printer all the correct colour management and will also mirror the image. Uh, the one thing I will say is you will come up with an issue here. Uh, in this case it's that my shape is too large for the page but sometimes you'll also have an issue reminding you to turn off colour management in the printer preferences which we've already done in the previous video or in the PDF instructions so we can ignore any issues that pop up there. I'm going to click cancel to close this menu. So next time, as I said, next time we come to print we can select that Rico sublimation preset and it'll have all the correct settings. Now if we want those settings to be the default then we can go into tools and options, tools and options, click that and then we click on global and printing and now we can see we've got an option for default print style here. Currently it's the default as the default, but if we wanted our sublimation settings to come up automatically, then we just select them in this drop down here 
and click OK. So now if we come to print anything, it's automatically selected our sublimation settings to so the correct printer, the correct colour profile and the mirror image as well. So this will carry over next time we open Coral Draw or the next image that we open through it. So all we have to do in future is File, Print and then click Print because all of the settings are saved. And that is how you install and use ICC profiles in CorelDRAW 2018. Thank you very much.